Hi, welcome. I am so glad that you are here. There is a great plan for your life and you are walking in it. You are a great cook. Today, we are going to be making broccoli and cheddar soup, dump and go in the crock pot. Let me tell you, this is the closest I've ever gotten to a copycat Panera broccoli and cheddar soup. And it is also my most favorite broccoli and cheddar soup that I personally have made so far. I'm really excited to share with you how I made this recipe. To your slow cooker, add one quarter cup of butter, three cups of diced broccoli, one cup of diced onions, and one cup of shredded carrots. Then just slightly mix together until it's an even layer. Next, you are going to make a corn starch slurry. This will thicken your broccoli and cheddar soup. To make your cornstarch slurry, you are gonna combine two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch with about a quarter of a cup of chicken broth or water. Then stir to combine. I declare in the name of Jesus and because of Jesus, you are fruitful, which means anything that you put your hands to prospers and succeeds. It's all right there in your spirit, the third part of your being, the real you. Thank you, Jesus, you are so good. Now that your cornstarch slurry is combined, pour into your slow cooker, and then pour chicken broth over everything inside your slow cooker until everything is covered. It should take about two cups of chicken broth. Then add some salt and some pepper to taste. Now you're gonna cover and cook on low for four to six hours or high for two to three hours. After this cooking time, stir in one cup of shredded cheddar cheese and two cups of half and half. You can use milk if you prefer. Cover and cook on high for another 30 minutes until the cheese is melted. Yay, here it is, broccoli and cheddar soup. Thank you, Jesus. Great job, everyone. Dear God, thank you for being so good. Thank you for being a great God and a perfect parent. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Wow, that is so good. So I love Panera Bread's broccoli and cheddar soup, and I've made a couple versions of it. This by far is the closest I've ever gotten to Panera Bread's version. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that I topped it with some extra um, cheddar cheese on top. Okay, so super flavorful. Um, you can taste the carrot and the broccoli, but it's not overpowering at all. Like I would even say if you don't typically like broccoli on its own, you would probably still like the soup. That butter taste, really, really clear there. So sweet. And the cheese, oh, the cheese really makes a difference. I use the Kerrygold cheddar cheese. I, I personally think that is, well, that's my favorite cheese. Let's put it that way. It's just super, super flavorful. So if you're looking for a great cheddar cheese, I would recommend the Kerrygold cheddar cheese. Or if you have your favorite cheddar cheese, use that. Wow, that's really good. It is on the, I'm not sure if you can see, but it is on the bit more liquidy side. So if you want it thicker, um, I would add some more cornstarch into your recipe. But if you want it more brothy, this is, it definitely has like a, a thickness to it, but it is also on the more brothy side. And I also used red onions and I don't know if that made a difference, but it tastes so good. Let's see, what else can I say? Oh, I also like diced the carrots. Oh, I shredded the carrots really finely and I diced the broccoli so that like all the pieces were really tiny. If you have bigger chunks and you want it to be smoother, you can use an immersion blender or you can cool the soup and then put it in a regular blender and blend it that way as well. You can blend the whole soup if you want it like completely, um, you know, no big junk, no, no big chunks, or you can even just like blend half of the soup or a quarter of the soup and that will thicken it a little bit and um, have some more smoothness to it. 
but I just chose to do it this way because it's one less step and I just like it easier, keep things delicious and simple. I just have to say, I am really, really, really impressed. This one is fantastic. I, I recommend, I give this, this is good. I give this 9.4 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate that you took time out of your day to watch my video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like what you saw, will you give it the thumbs up, hit the like button? Also, I'd love to have you join our YouTube family. Will you hit the subscribe button? It's free for you and it notifies you when I upload new content, as well as help push this video out to other people so they can be encouraged, as well as get some nice cooking recipes. All my recipes are in the description box below, as well as a prayer that you can pray if you'd like to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Jesus loves you and me, and there's nothing we can do about it. What great news. I declare in the name of Jesus and because of Jesus, you are blessed and highly favored, cherished and adored, forgiven and righteous, satisfied with long life, walking in divine health and wholeness, safe and protected, fruitful and victorious, wise and intelligent, wealthy and prosperous, full of truth and never deceived.